University Pirates. Respect the H. Hey, Pirate fans. Welcome to Respect the H here on Sky 4. Good morning. It's game day. Hampton University versus St. Andrews University in the final home game of the season and our final episode of Respect the H. We have a lot to talk about. We'll be right back here on Respect the H, Sky 4. Hampton University is one of the most beautiful university settings you'll find anywhere. From our world-class research centers to our dedication to the arts and our athletic programs where we build champions, we've launched satellites that will better predict the weather. The Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute Cancer Treatment Center is easing human misery and saving lives. Hampton University faculty, staff, and students are making a difference in the global community through service and science. Hey, Pride fans, welcome back. It's game day, Respect to H here on Sky 4. We have a lot to talk about today. We're going to go over the footage of last week's victory over Mississippi Valley State University. But I also want to talk about our guest quickly. We're going to have uh, Mr. Lloyd Carter, our lacrosse coach, Miss Angie Nicholson, our softball coach and Assistant Vice President for Media and Marketing and Dean of the School of Scripps Howard, uh, Ms. B. DeVita Plummer. We have a lot more to talk about, but let's turn it over to Jay Lang and Richie Somerville to give the summary of the Pirates versus Mississippi Valley State University. Williams, the quarterback, Robinson, the running back, two wide receivers near and one to the far, and they throw to the far side, passes caught, first down, 40, 50, uh -huh. and breaking a tackle, and he could go! That's what I'm Number 88, about. Marcel Paul, all the way for the touchdown, and the Pirates now trail 7-6. to six. That's what I'm talking about, touchdown Pirates. Yeah. Harriet's in the game this time, and they hand off to him, he runs the left side, 10, 5, <laughs> he's into the end zone, it's a touchdown for Rashad Harriet, and Hampton takes the lead, it's 13 seven yeah baby touchdown pirates Arr. evan the quarterback he will hand off man in motion he gets hit it's chambers behind the line of scrimmage capri Doucette, jason davidson coming up and making the tackle they read the play and made the tackle quick darian carr was also in the backfield too it's a loss of two and mississippi valley's got the punt and you go nowhere Second down and 10 from the 39, handoff to Harriet. Harriet busts oh, through the yeah. line, 50, 40, he's, he's 30. Uh. He's slowing down. They got him at the 20 and down to the 19. Oh. Rashawn Harriet, another huge run for the freshman walk-on from oh, yeah. Waldorf, Maryland. <laughs> if he had a little more octane in those legs, that would have been a touchdown. Second down and nine from the 19. Williams drives back, throws into the end zone. It is caught for a touchdown by Byron Barney. His eighth of the season in Hampton Lee. 20 to 7. Yeah, boy. Touchdown, Pirates. My, oh, my. That's a 70 yard drive by Hampton and took very little time off the clock, too. Second down and 11 for Mississippi Valley from their own 14 yard line. Evan gets the snap, drops back to the six. Looking, looking. Now he tries to run. And now he gets tackled. And the ball came loose. And Hampton's got it. Yes, 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 indeed. Two guys on Ooh. the ground hugging each other, wearing white for the Pirates. And that was Marcano again, making the recovery <laughs> was number 35. That's Devin Thurman. Bell and Barney again line up in the slot to the left. One wide receiver is Bonds to the left. Robinson stays in as the running back. They hand off to Will Robinson, and he gets to the end zone. Warning, danger, Will Robinson. It's a touchdown for Hampton. And the Pirates now lead 27-7 to for Robinson, his fifth touchdown of the year. They are just yeah, running man. away with the Delta Devils, and like I said, shake that confidence. They thought they had a little something going on with that first touchdown. It's Second down and 13 for Mississippi Valley, and they will fake a handoff, and Evan runs around, and Evan gets hit from behind and taken down back to the 21, making the sack for the Pirates, number 94, Devontae Spruill. And yeah, he got dragged down like a rag doll. That's his first sack of the season, Jack. Two wide receivers near, two to the far and third and 19. Mississippi Valley State drops back and it's gonna be Evan who's gonna be taken down at the line of scrimmage for no gain by Desmond Sturdivant. The U goes nowhere, son. Not today. And they fake the end of the ball fumbled at the backfield, down to the 10-yard oh, yeah. line, and Hampton get it. 
Hampton says they do, but the officials have not said so. And if, they're, if this is Hampton's ball, then that's the second fumble of the day for Mississippi Valley. The Pirates are convinced they have it. The Delta Devils kind of just standing around in shock. Hampton's got it. Well, there's still no official signal. I believe you, Jay. And it is yep. Hampton footballs. <laughs> the Zebras finally agree with 5.09 to go in the quarters. Two wide receivers right, two left balls right between the hash marks. And it is Graham in motion. They hand off to Graham. Graham uh, to the 10. Graham to the pile on him. He's into the end zone. It's a Dang. touchdown for Hampton and Antonio Graham. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Touchdown Pirates. <laughs> One play, nine oh, yards, did. and Hampton leads 34 to 17. With Harriet now in the game at running back, Williams will pass. No pressure, throws, complete. Graham regains his balance as he slipped as he caught the ball near the sidelines of the 14 and gets up to the 10. He goes out of bounds, but he's shy of the first down. It'll bring up third down and two. When he went out of bounds, he stopped the clock with 35 seconds to go, and Hampton still has a timeout in their back pocket where they still go hurry up. Williams gets the snap, throws in the flat, complete to Thompson, to the five, he <laughs> dives to the pylon! Touchdown, Hampton! Touchdown, Pirates. That's what I'm talking about. Nice way to go into the locker room. Lorenzo Thompson, his first touchdown of the season, and Hampton now leads 40 to 24. Here's Williams with the snap, handoff, Harriet 45, 50, Harriet 45, Harriet to the 40. It's a gain of 20 on the first play of the third quarter for Rashad Harriet. Get him his chariot. <laughs> In Mississippi Valley, down 16 as they come with a blitz on second down and nine at the 30 pass. Complete crossing pattern, Barney, 25, turns up field in the numbers of the 20, gets the 15, and finally wrestled out of bounds at the 14-yard line. Another first down for Hampton. And a nice fearless run. Williams gets the snap with his third down and four from the 10. Throws into the end zone. Did he catch did it? it? Yes, he did. It's All a right. touchdown for Hampton. Touchdown, Pirates. It's number 88, Marcel Paul. He had the opening score of the game, and he gets this latest one here, and Hampton leads 46 to 24. Yeah, we're going to bust 50 before it's all over. Four wide receivers and one running back, and Williams will pass. He throws to the back of the end zone. It is caught for a two-point conversion. All right. Williams gets the snap. Oh, he's going to throw on first down. He's going to go for it all, and Barney is yes. wide open for the touchdown. <laughs> 29 yards on the play, and that, Hampton adds six more. That was sweet. Touchdown, Hampton. Go ahead, Pirates. Beautiful 54 pass. to 31, and nobody was within 10 yards of Byron Barney. How'd they lose him? There's five seconds on the play clock. Fowler gets the snap. He's under pressure again. He's hit late. The pass is complete to Booker Chambers, and he is hit hard right in the middle of the field. Smackdown. Number 94, Devontae Spruill says, take that. And Hampton gets the football. <laughs> Final score from Itabina is Hampton 54 and Mississippi Valley State 39. Hey, Pirate fans, welcome back to Respect to H here on Sky 4. The final score was Pirates 54, the Devils 39. We'll be right back here on Respect to H, Sky 4. Don't miss an exciting new season of Hampton University Pirates basketball. New competition comes to town to take on the Pirates as they make their mark on the Mid-South Conference. Get on the ship. Visit HamptonPirates.com or call 757-728-6828 for your tickets today. Hey, Pirate fans, welcome back. It's game day. Our Hampton Pirates are taking on St. Andrews. 1 o'clock, 88.1 WHOV and ESPN+. Plus. Our next guest is Mr. Lloyd Carter, head men's lacrosse coach here at Hampton University. Welcome, Coach. How you doing, Coach? Good, See good, you. good. You're looking well, Mr. Marshall, as always. Well, we try to keep up with you in the program. <laughs> yes, sir. We started from club, and now we're Division I, and we're into third year of heavy competition. How has the transition been in your eyes? Well, I would say the transition has been amazing um, since – Going from a club team, um, the fact that you and, and Dr. Harvey uh, had the vision to see that this program would be ideal for Hampton University. And then once we went from club to Division One, the support we've been getting from the school has been phenomenal. 
everybody, um, the scholarships, um, the different departments that work with us, and, and they've taken us from a club level to a Division One level in such a short amount of time. It's not an easy task, but with the support we've been given, we've been able to get to a point where we are starting to be very competitive. Well, I want to give a shout out to Dr. Barbara Inman, who's the Vice President of Administrative Services, who oversaw athletics during that particular time, and also Dr. Harvey for the vision. But as we went from the ESPN um, game day uh, program to where we are today, how have you watched this progress really grow? Yeah, I, I always like to just give a little history about how, how I got here. Um, Michael Crawford was a student here. He was a senior uh, in, in 2010. He was about to graduate, and he was from Brooklyn, New York. He had played lacrosse all his life, and one of his goals was to create a lacrosse program here in Hampton. Uh, he went home for the uh, winter break, and when he went home for the winter break, he uh, suddenly died from an enlarged heart. And as a result of that, his mother, Verena Crawford, wanted to continue to keep his dream alive. So she found his documentation, and she needed help to get started. So she Googled Black Lacrosse Coach, and my name happened to come up. We had a real uh, emotional conversation over the phone. And in the conversation, I always say that I, I interrupted her and asked if she believed in God. She said yes. And I said, well, God had you call the right person. Uh, I had a history of playing lacrosse all my life. I played at Morgan State. i have been coaching. I had started an inner city program. And so I was really, really focused on trying to create something here at Hampton. I used to drive here every weekend for two years to keep the club team going. Eventually, I relocated here, coached the club team, and then you came. And then you, you decided that this would be a viable program. And then we've gone forward to the point that ESPN came in and, and chronicled our first historic game. And so we've been getting a lot of love from around the country about our program, and we continue to build it. Can you give a little shout out to some of the young men who are helping you as we move forward into this year? Yeah, um, I'd just like to shout out initially one, uh, Kendall Sapp, who's my senior, who's been with the program from day one as a club player. He's an excellent student. Um, his nickname initially was ADL all day long. I recently changed it to You Already Know. Um, and he's an excellent player, good leadership. And under him, we, we have uh, a freshman that came in, uh, Lonnie Jones, this year. And he's playing with two freshmen who are now sophomores from last year, Pierce Johnson and Elliot Johnson the third. I call them the scoring firm of Johnson, Johnson, and Jones. So it'll be really exciting this year. And, and you look at how, how the program has progressed, how these student athletes has progressed, and uh, what's the outlook for this season? I think, I think we're going to be very competitive. Last year we were five and eight. I think we're going to flip those numbers. I think well, we're aiming to be an eight and five team, a winning record. I would love to go undefeated, but you know me, I always got high expectations. And so that's my goal. But uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be very competitive this year. And you, you got the schedule. The schedule's increased a little bit, so the competition's a little bit tougher. Yes, sir. And uh, I think the, the guys are ready. Uh, they had a good fall, I mean, a good fall season where they were pretty competitive. Yeah, I got to send a shout out to Coach V, who's our strength and conditioning coach, who has really gotten my, my team stronger and more conditioned. And you can see it when we step on the field. Uh, we, we really appreciate what she's done to improve the quality of our players. And that's going to be a big help because uh, lacrosse is bigger, stronger, faster, more athletic. And you have to have all those things in order to be successful. Yes, sir. Definitely. Well, Coach, I thank you for coming. We'll be right back. We have more to talk about here on Respect to H, Sky 4, it's game day, Hampton and St. Andrews, 1 o'clock. Don't miss an exciting new season of Hampton University Pirates basketball. New competition comes to town to take on the Pirates as they make their mark on the Big South Conference. Get on the ship. Visit HamptonPirates.com or call 757-728-6828 for your tickets today. Hey, Pirate fans, welcome back. It's game day. Hampton Pirates versus St. Andrews here on Sky 4, 1 o'clock, Armstrong Stadium. Want to introduce our softball coach, head softball coach, Ms. Angela Nicholson. Welcome, coach. Thanks. 
just finished fall. Yep. And uh, getting ready for spring. Yeah. How was the fall? Uh, fall was great. Um, it's been a, a strange transition because we have uh, a mix, an equal mix of seniors and freshmen, which is a strange mix to work with. So um, we have uh, just trying to figure out how we're going to mesh the freshmen and, and, and the seniors together. And it's been a, a, an unbelievable experience because I thought we were going to battle it. And it's been like they've known each other forever. Um, so it, it's been way better than we thought. Um, the, the thing that's, um, in my opinion, been a little bit different is you have these freshmen that have come in who've been so strong athletically, but uh, surprisingly, they're not up to speed with the IQ that the seniors are. Mm -hmm. So we have a great situation where we have seniors who are teaching these freshmen the way, even though the freshmen may be just a little bit more athletically um, yeah. inclined. Yeah, and so it's been a really good mix, a really good trans transition. Um, it's been better than I thought. And that's the old, I, I call it the old Boston Celtic, uh, you train your replacement, so to yeah. speak. But I think the good thing is that they all get along. I went out and watched a you know, little bit of practice and saw how well they interact. Yeah, they seem surprised. to be a team already. Yeah. And this is you know, September, October, now we're into November, and they're a team. You don't have to wait till uh, January, February, yeah. and March, which yeah. I think is super. Yeah, I did not expect that. I, that was the one fear is how are they all going to get along. Um, and the, the, the thing that I think I'm running into at this point is uh, senioritis and how to control that. You know, these seniors have been through a lot and I just want to keep them focused. Not only, I mean, they're focused on graduation. That is, that's definitely, you know, what they're focused on, but I want them to also focus. We have such a big year going, transitioning into the Big South. I want them to really focus also on the softball season and getting these freshmen to where they need to be. They have, they're gonna play such a large role in that transition and I hope they understand and, and really take that on. How, how is the team feeling about the transition to the Big South? Yeah, I th they're, they're good. They're excited about it. We've talked about it. Um, we talked about it before it ha was happening. We've talked about it ever since it's happened. They understand that this is going to be, this is a huge jump for softball. Um, and I think they're ready for it. My teams have always seemed to play better um, against better competition. So we're not concerned or worried about that. We also understand that every day is going to be a fight. And I think we're up for that and we're ready for that challenge. From a softball perspective, I think we need to let our viewers know how significant this is. Everybody knows it's a significant upgrade for men's and women's basketball. But I'd like our viewers to know how significant this is in the sport of softball. Uh, well, we went from the MEAC is, is pretty much the um, bottom of the barrel when it comes to the, um, conference, RPI, and strength of schedule and all, that, all of that. And we jumped from there to the Big South is, is virtually um, just underneath the top P, um, Power Five schools. So we're, I think the um, Big South is about 14th. Um, so we went from like 37 to 14. It was a huge wow. jump. It wasn't uh, a little jump. Um, but again, we're ready for that. It's not like we can't handle it. We've played these schools before, Liberties and Radfords, and you know, um, it's not like we can't do it. Um, it's just going to be a matter of us pulling ourselves together and working together as a unit and understanding you know, the process and why we're here and what we're doing. And as long as we can understand that and work together, I think we'll be fine. And how did recruiting go, knowing that we were going to the Big South? Recruiting was great. Um, we really, um, Coach Rick and Coach Lauren really hit the trail really hard, as long, and so did I, and we were able to lock down. We have, we have eight kids that'll be signing here um, this week, so we're super excited about that. Talent level is definitely increasing, um, and just selling the strength of schedule again and the move to the Big South, um, that sells itself. So for us, and people didn't know, people didn't realize um, that we're moving into the Big South and who we're going to be playing against. So it was an easy sell once they heard about it. So um, people are very excited about that. Well, listeners, we want you to come on out and support our softball team in, in, the, in the spring. And uh, we have a lot more to talk about here on Respect to H, Sky 4. We want you to come out in February and support our home tournaments. But we'll be right back here on Sky 4, Respect to H.
Don't miss an exciting new season of Hampton University Pirates basketball. New competition comes to town to take on the Pirates as they make their mark on the Big South Conference. Get on the ship. Visit HamptonPirates.com or call 757-728-6828 for your tickets today. Hey, Pirate fans, it's game day. Our Hampton Pirates are taking on St. Andrews University at 1 o'clock. Armstrong Stadium. Our next guest uh, was nice enough to let us use her studio here at Scripps Howard School of Journalism. It is Ms. Davida Plummer who is the Assistant Vice President for Marketing and Media and also the Dean of the Scripps Howard School of Journalism and Communications. Welcome Dean. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thank you again. How, for do, you, how do you like our digs? I love it. I think it's great. I mean, uh, students are really uh, living in high cotton, as they say. I mean, this, exactly is, this is right. fantastic. We have the uh, Scripps Howard Foundation to thank for this beautiful facility, and the students have an opportunity to do radio and television and digital and web and social. Um, it's a great place. We're grateful to them. And one of your many hats, uh, you can pick one and, you know, really let our viewers in on um, what you do at Hampton. You know, the, um, the hat that I love the most is truly the one where I have an opportunity to make a dis difference in a student's life. You know, I came through these uh, walls myself. I mean, um, the Scripps Albert School of Journalism and Communication is known as this big communication school. But at one time, um, like 1967, it started with one typewriter, a couple of students, and a dedicated teacher, and it's just grown over the years and in 1980 I was a product of the school and had an opportunity to have a professor kind of look at me and say I think I know what you might be good at and as a result I got into the industry and I did well so it gives me great joy you know to return and be able to invest in students um, the Scripps Foundation gave us a 10 million dollar grant they sat down with Dr. Harvey and they thought very seriously about how to make a difference in diversifying their properties and their assets across the country and they chose Hampton. And as a result, we have this wonderful facility as of uh, 2002. And I've been Dean just shy of six years. It's a great place. It is, it is. They do a lot of good things here. The students go off and do great things as you did. Um, also, you have a profound impact on the marketing and media for the university. All the things that are Hampton have a lot to do with uh, your crafting and, and the wisdom and wit. Well, I think that I have a great team of people and whatever I learned out there I tried to bring back to the school that gave me my start you know to be perfectly honest but Hampton sells itself it truly sells itself um, I've, I've, I'm thinking about it more now because of 2019 and the 400th anniversary of the first people of my hue who came to these shores not far from where we are at Fort Monroe and uh, General Samuel Chapman Armstrong's vision that included character and educating a human being all the way through, you know, had hard hands. And if you really think about that and you have a chance to say it, it doesn't matter how you channel it or what platform you use. Right. If you're telling that story, it's an easy story to tell. So I think that putting together uh, commercials and public service announcements, getting in front of people, um, that role is very gratifying because I know what this school can do and change a young person's life. And within the HBCU community, we like to think of ourselves as the Harvard of HBCUs. So in both capacities, I have an opportunity to tell stories. And in one of those uh, roles as the Assistant Vice President for Marketing and Media, I'm able to tell Hampton's story. And I enjoy doing that. And in this role, I'm able to teach young journalists to come up behind us and tell the stories of communities and people. And um, I've learned that our students are really committed to making a difference. And Hampton, as an HBCU, nurtures that student and gives that student a voice and also coping mechanisms because the media industry specifically is tough, very, very tough. Well, Dean, I want to thank you for taking time to visit with us today. Also, for allowing us to air our show here at these great digs that you have, that the students have successfully taken, uh, right. taken use of. 
We have a lot more to talk about. We'll be right back. Game day. Hampton taking on St. Andrews University. Sky 4. We'll be right back. Don't miss an exciting new season of Hampton University Pirates basketball. New competition comes to town to take on the Pirates as they make their mark on the Mid-South Conference. Get on the ship. Visit HamptonPirates.com or call 757-728-6828 for your tickets today. Hey, Pirate fans. Welcome back to Respect to H. It's game day. We want to talk about some of the greatest hits of this episode of Respect to H. We're going to go back to the beginning all the way up until today. And we'll have a lot of fun with some of our guests, some of the footage, and just all in all having a great time. Hey, Pirate fans, welcome to Respect to H, our new show that goes right along with our new season, our new conference. Williams throws a pass backwards. This is going to be a double pass. Ronald Bell throws downfield for Antonio Graham. It's completed the 25-yard line and whipped down to the 21. And everybody's excited to see the new team moving into the Big South, the new coaching staff. Everyone's excited, so I'm definitely excited to get out there. And then you get a breakaway run, and you, 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 know, you never give up, and you learn, you watch your surroundings, and then you capitalize off it. That's it. That's the name of the game. The students here are very, very special. They energize me and they remind me why I'm here. I came here to give back to the institution, to help develop students, and to leave this place a little better than I found. Bubble screen, Delman Williams faked the bubble screen. The, wire, the cornerback jumped up and the outside boundary receiver went for the fly. Wide open touchdown in the corner of the end zone by the pylon. Touchdown Hampton. That's a beautiful play drawn up by the offensive court. It's great, it's great that you pointed out. See, that goes to show our, our athletic director. He does a lot of research. I so did my research. Every time I'm was... with him, I see that. Williams back to the 15th. Throws to the end zone. Antonio Graham from Churchland for the touchdown. You know, I'm really excited this year to be um, serving as the president. And then just, you know, translating and going into the Big South, you know, really, really excited. Williams will give it to Harry at this time. Gets through the line. Nice. The 25, the oh, 20. Outside the sidelines in, into the end zone. It's a <laughs> touchdown for Hampton. And we're Sean Harriet. I mean, I mean, first of all, I, I got to give credit to our returning play. Uh, they set the tone. Williams gets the snap, drops back, looking to throw a screen, but then he gets tangled up and then he runs 45, 50, makes a man miss a 45 yard line, then gets taken down to 43. And to quote uh, a famous DJ, from the bottom, now we're here. Hey, Pirate fans, welcome back. It's game day. Respect to H here on Sky 4. Our Hampton Pirates are taking on St. Andrews University at 1 o'clock. Be here. And this is the last game of the year. Also, our final episode of Respect to H. We have one more game before Thanksgiving. Women's basketball against James Madison University at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, November 20th. We want to thank everybody for their support on Respect to H Sky 4. We are out. <laughs>